Did you know that your RV can just explode? <laughs> it can, it can just explode. Sitting there, mind your own business, <laughs> and all of a sudden, your RV can just explode. Uh, well, I suppose anything's possible. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna show you how to not have your RV explode, and we're gonna do it right now. We were contacted by a company called Gas Stop, mm -hmm. and they were talking about you know propane leak safety and all this stuff, and we were intrigued. Well, we've Lo been intrigued. Yeah, we looked at the product, and then we started doing a little research. Mm -hmm. How how common is this? Is this something that we need? Mm. How big a deal is it? Is propane just leaking like random all <laughs> over the place for RVs? It's running rampant. So we did some research and turns out we went onto some Facebook forums mm -hmm. and I was only on there for like 20, 30 minutes and I found <laughs> all kinds bunch. of comments about propane leaks. Okay. And so I guess it is pretty common and it frustrates people. So yeah. um, there was even a recall on some trailers by Jayco in 2020 because of potential propane leaks. Oh wow. It's gotta be serious if an RV manufacturer oh, recalls some stuff. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they don't like to do that. So I guess the solution is gas stop mm -hmm. because it will detect major leaks, major failures. So this is stuff like if you have a, a, a severely cracked line or a severed line or mm -hmm. something other in your hardware in your propane line that is severely compromised yeah. to where you would get an extreme loss of propane very quickly, which can lead to an explosion. Correct. Um, but there's also a way with this to detect minor leaks. And I'll show you how to do all that stuff. Uh, it's super easy to install. It comes with this very easy, e quick to install guide. <laughs> your favorite. <laughs> no, it really isn't that bad. Uh, and it does have four steps on the back, so you really can just do this. This is all like safety a stuff more in and depth. probably legal stuff that they kind of have to okay. tell you. But yeah. uh, we're going to get into the the gist of it. But we will tell you that we had some hesitation. We did. I mean, we we know a lot of a lot of our RV friends have gas stop already. Yeah, and so they've, and they've told gotten us about on to us. Why aren't you using gas yeah. stop? Why aren't you using gas stop? <laughs> <laughs> we did have some hesitation and I'll, I'll, I'll explain during the installation what our hesitation was uh, gas top has a solution for that for that the reason we had the hesitation so they have a solution to fix the reason why we were hesitant yes and so we'll show you that all right first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure that your gas is turned off uh, next thing you do is unconnect your gas line you might hear a little hiss that's just all the gas that's in the lines um, will escape out it's not under pressure anymore. All right, you can see that the uh, that the gas stop has a, a valve the same as the one that's already installed on our RV, and so it's going to go on there just like the normal valve would. All right, and then you take your existing valve and just screw that on to the gas stop. All right, now I'm going to turn my gas back on. And you'll notice that nothing happened on the needle there. It didn't show anything. So what you got to do is you have to push this down a couple times, four to six times specifically, to prime this, this gas stop. And now you can see that it does indicate how much gas is actually in there. And it also opened up the valve in there to allow the gas to go into the line. Uh, to make sure that you installed it correctly, all of these threads here, you can take some soapy water Run it on there. If you see any bubbles squirting out, it might not be tight enough. Make sure you tighten that down so that the gas is not leaking out. So it will automatically tell you if there's a major leak, like we talked about. If you have a severed line or if some of your hardware failed and gas is leaking out very quickly or completely total loss of pressure in your propane, then you've had a, a big deal. And this will automatically shut off the gas. So if it detects that, this thing right here. Uh, we just primed it. What it'll basically do is unprime itself because it doesn't have any pressure and it'll close the valve inside there so that the gas from here doesn't go anywhere else and it stops the leak and stops the potential for an issue or an explosion. What it won't do is it won't shut down the entire system for a slow leak. And the reason that it won't do that is because it can't differentiate the difference between a slow leak and between uh, you just turning the gas on on the stove or uh, the, the uh, heater coming on the furnace. 
So the way that you can tell that you have a slow leak is what I just did was I turned everything on, I primed the, the uh, gas stop. So now the whole entire system has gas going through it. So what I'm gonna go do is I'm gonna go inside the RV. I'll turn on one of the burners until it actually comes on and lights. That tells me that there is gas through the whole system, through the whole propane system. And then you can see the indicator here that we have pressure. So now what I'll do is I will turn the tank off. I'll close the, the valve to the, to the tank. And now, so there's no gas going from the propane tank into the system, but there is gas that's being contained throughout the whole system via this valve. It's holding that pressure of the gas in the whole system. So if there is a slow leak, I'm not gonna turn any gas on. I'll turn everything off that takes any gas. And if there is a slow leak, then you'll see this gauge, you'll see the needle start going down. And because there's no gas coming out of here, you know that the leak isn't from here. The leak is somewhere in the system. Now, the downfall is it won't tell you exactly where the leak is, but the good thing is you will know that there's a leak and you can at least get it to a tech, have a mobile tech come out to you. They can do the research and the diagnostics to find the leak, but at least you know you have a leak and you're not gonna blow up. I'm gonna take note of where this needle is right now. And in five or 10 minutes, I'm gonna come back and make sure that the, that needle is in the same spot. If that needle has gone down, then you have a slow leak somewhere. If it stays the same, then you're good. Well, it's been about 10 minutes and the needle is in the same place. Look for yourself. So that tells me two things. One, I installed the gas stop properly. And two, we don't have any leaks in our lines. So very cool. Now I can turn the system all the way back on and good to go if there's an issue. I know that this thing will cut off the uh, the leak. And so we'll probably like once every month or so just do the slow leak test because the only way to do it is to manually do it just the way I explained. There's not a, a thing that's gonna continually tell you if you have a slow leak or not. This is why we were hesitant to get a gas stop because this gas stop pushes this valve further out. So it puts more pressure on where this hose is bent you know normally it was over here so not as much pressure but when you kick that thing out right there is a pretty good bend and then over time this is going to dry rot and potentially crack so we have a solution for that so this is the solution that gas top has given us to alleviate the kinking of the hose and basically it's just the 90 degree adapter the problem that we ran into was the industry has recently changed the threading on their gas fittings. So we had to get this adapter. Now I will overlay this in case it is the case for you also that you have to get one. We'll put on there. We'll also put a link down in the description in case you have to order one. This will go on to here, which will go into the, the fitting into the RV, which will make it fit. When we first got this, we tried to go in there and it was just too big. And uh, so we had to get this adapter. So we're gonna install this. Uh, we will need a little bit of this. It's basically like Teflon tape, like you would use for like plumbing, but this is used for propane. So you'll need to put a little bit on the threading of these fittings to make sure that you don't get any leaks of propane. We'll hook up one end into here and then the other end just right, like we did with the, uh, with the gas stop fitting. And it should be uh, a good fix to alleviate this kink in the hose. I just wanted to show you this real quick. I'm going to close this off. And then so basically um, when I'm going to to put this 90 degree adapter on, I wanted to show you this because this basically simulates a a big leak. When I un, when I disconnect this, you should see that this will go down. This thing will unprime itself and will stop the flow of gas. And you see that right there. So right now the flow of gas has stopped because this thing has unprimed itself, which is basically the same thing it does in a large or major leak or or fault failure. All right, you can see this is a pretty easy install. Took that uh, tape that I was talking about, put that adapter on, and now you can see the 90 degree adapter is on and it has alleviated a lot of that kinking. So a lot less pressure on this line, a lot less likely to crack or break or fail. I've got it back on, I got the propane turned back on, I have the gas stop primed again, and we're good. I will do a slow leak test just to make sure that I have all the connections on there correctly. But um, that's it, pretty easy. Well, we made it kind of sound like half jokingly at the first one we were talking about your RV exploding. Yeah. But that was the most dramatic one that we came across in the forum. There was someone's RV who's, who actually exploded. <laughs> Yeah. It tore the thing in half. Yeah, that's crazy. And so it can happen. It's rare that that happens. It's more likely that you're just going to get a leak, leak or a failure that's going to cause this gas stop to shut off now as opposed to, to blow up. Yeah. But 
it's good <laughs> to have this to, to shut it off just in case. Yes. And uh, it's always better safe than sorry. I don't know if we've ever mentioned this on our channel before, but we had a house fire. Yes, we have. And we've lost a house to fire. And yes, we have. It is traumatic <laughs> yes, when you it lose was. all your stuff. <laughs> Um, so it would be even more traumatic if you're out on the road and you lose everything and then you have nowhere else to go. Yeah. So it's worth a little bit of money. Yeah. Just I for mean, peace of mind. I mean, there's other things out there to even elevate the safety, <laughs> but we're not at, willing to spend that much money yet for yeah. that level of comfort. This, I think for now, is plenty for us. Yeah, and you know, for, for what it costs, I think it's definitely worth, even if it, if it never fails, if you never have an issue, it's worth having just to know that you can go to bed at night knowing you're not going to blow up. Yeah, it was like insurance. You buy it just, just in case. <laughs> yeah, so again, um, use discount code WAGS at the end and you'll get 10% off. And let us know if you're using Gas Stop. Now, um, there was a time gap between the first part of this video and the second part. Well, well, part of the reason was waiting for the adapter. Yes. But the other part was we don't do a lot of product reviews and we want to use the product for a little while mm. before we actually do a video and recommend it. Don't waste time if so, it doesn't yeah. work out. So we've had the gas stop on for several weeks now Yes. and no issues, checked it. We've done a couple of the slow leak tests, and no issues. And so, so we're, we're, confident. we're very confident. We're comfortable with recommending gas stop Yes. because we, we don't like to go on and recommend anything that we wouldn't buy or that we wouldn't use. Yes. And so we would buy this product we would use this product and so we are recommending it yeah 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 so um let us know if you go with gas stop let us know what you think about it if you like it and um like we do at the end of all of our videos we're going to honor a fallen hero if you want to get involved with helping us help veterans out on the road everything you need to know down in the description of the video along with the discount code and the link to gas stop mm -hmm. and we appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time bye